In response to the developments out of Russia, Ukraine's new government is stepping up security, while at the same time trying to unify the country. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg has the details from Kiev. Ukraine's new Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk phoned the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry minutes after that Russian vote and conveyed to him that Ukraine views any military move by Russia as aggressive. He also phoned the Speaker of the Russian Duma, the upper house, the upper house there, and told him that any weapon or force used against Ukrainian citizens would be viewed as a violation of an international provocation, his words there. Yatsenyuk then called an urgent meeting of his National Security Council, his new cabinet there, of course, in attendance. He said his country's military is prepared and insisted that he hasn't, nor would he use force against uh, the citizens of Crimea. Now, that's an important footnote because Russia claims its additional uh, troops are needed to protect Russian speakers in Crimea. Well, meanwhile, Yulia Tymoshenko, the former prime minister who was freed from prison last week, has urged the EU to sign its association with Ukraine as quickly as possible in the coming days. That would, of course, be quite the response, quite the statement uh, to Russia. And heavyweight boxing champion Vitaly Klitschko, who's quite the populist, popular politician here, addressed the crowd of protesters in Independence Square, the Maidan, demanding Ukraine's deal with Russia over its Black Sea fleet should immediately be scrapped. He called this a declaration of war and said that Ukraine's unity must be protected. And we also heard from leaders from the Maidan protesters issuing a statement here late on Saturday night saying that while they still maintain their demands, the integrity of the country is most important and that the government can, quote, count on the support of the Ukrainian people to protect it against the aggressions of the Kremlin. That quote from the Maidan leaders. You know, the Ukrainian parliament is due to meet first thing on Sunday morning at about 8 GMT, 10 local time here, and we'll be monitoring those latest developments. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Kiev.